Okay, up for sale today is a 1993 Subaru wagon. Runs and drives really good. It could use, uh, well, I guess uh, get a little razor blade for taking off these stickers. I got it from the owner like that, and yeah, never, never took them off myself. Look at that, the hatch stays up. Oops, let me grab a key. All right, got the keys. You like that Subaru brat over there? <laughs> All right, when you turn it on, watch out. It could choke your belt, one of those electric belts. Start off the horn. It works. And the, the back windshield defrost does work. There's no way to prove it, but I assure you it does. Heat's really nice. All the different levels work. Heat works really nice in this car. CD player was taken out. Well, not CD player. It was a uh, deck. You know, those little tape decks and little wooden kind of device. I don't know what this is. I'll take it off though. Owner had it up. They put feathers in it. Kind of odd. Um, electric windows. And they work. And nice. Mirrors. They're electric mirrors, so you can see that. You moving? Maybe you do, maybe you don't, but they work. Um, speedometer works, tachometer works, fuel gauge works. Power steering is really nice, and there's no uh, loose tie rods or anything. It has uh, really good tie rods and joints and all that stuff. So let's get up to speed and I'll show you. Hazards. They work from inside the outside the car. The car drives very well. The only thing that doesn't seem to work is that dumb clock over there. I don't know if you see it. It comes on sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. But the weird thing is it keeps its time. So if it's set for whatever time you set it, it'll keep that time which I found very odd. So it stays on time, but it then it comes on and on. I don't know if it's a light kind of issue. Here's that and all that stuff. Oh yeah, let's try the four wheel drive, huh? It's push button, so you just push it down. It'll say right on there, see the four wheel drive. This four wheel drive works real nice. Now one thing about these cars is you don't take four wheel drive past 55. That's just not something you do. But it works very well. And this thing is incredibly good on fuel. It'll even be better if you put 185-80-13 tires on it. This has a 175-75s, I believe. So get some bigger tires on it, you'll save some fuel. And I'm going 50, four-wheel drive on.
the CV joints were done about a year back and the belts were done about a year back. The receipts are all in here. When you come by, I can show you. It's had some work done to it. Everything works pretty well in the car. It has 227,000 miles on it, which these go up to about 300. And then their heads crack. I've owned probably about 10 of these things. So now's the time to start doing oil changes and all that kind of good crap. The locks are manual. Can you see it over there? Hey. So the manual, but they do a lock electronically from outside the key. And the locks do work. So everything works in the car. It's a real good car. It doesn't pull. Hey, hands off the wheel. It goes really nice. It just needs a good home. Someone could sand out that rust and put some Walmart white spray paint over it, pull off those stickers, and it'll, it'll look like a decent car. I have no clue why the owners had to stick all those stupid stickers on there. That's just how it is. It does have lifetime plates on it. I drove on the lifetime plates for some time now. Here we go. Here's Chocobel. Hey, Chocobel. Now it is a Subaru, so they do leak. It's not that bad, it just leaks. It has a block heater for summer. Or not summer, winter. Duh. Hey, it does not mix fluids. And it's not leaking everywhere. Light. 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 Your license plate lights. All work. All the lights work. I'll do the blinkers for you. And yeah, that's that. It is what it is, an old Subaru. But its fans come on, it stays cool, and it does its job. I was told by another owner that this saves fuel mileage by two, two miles for the gallon. I don't know if it's true. It's like a reservoir, a vacuum reservoir for the battery. And it's been routed to the intake. I don't know. I have found it to be goofy. I don't notice any better fuel mileage. It is where it is. Get some bigger tires. See, there's 175 70 13, which is kind of small. Look how goofy it is. See this old Subaru? This one has 185 80s on them, and they're just much bigger, and you get much better fuel mileage out of the things. And yeah, everything works in the car. You can have the lifetime plates and drive around on them or whatever. And uh, it is what it is. Have a good day.